Okay, I need some butter. Got my bag of garlic. Got my olive oil. What are you guys doing here? It's not, I'm not even ready for the show yet. Look, the sun's not even up yet. It's too early. What are you? Ugh. All right, listen, here's what I'm doing. Give me a minute to finish this. Uh, it's another audible.com sponsored show. And uh, I might as well tell you real quick what I'm going to be reading before we get this recipe started. I'm doing a book called, uh, it's the Gordon Ramsay book, uh, On Top of the World. And the reason why I'm doing Gordon Ramsay because I think he's like my favorite chef of all time. I've read all the other ones, and Gordon Ramsay is just a, a genius. The guy's doing what? Master Chef, and he does Hell's Kitchen, and he does Kitchen Nightmares, and now he's doing Hotel Hell, and the guy is like working every day of his life. So I'm going to check out his life. Check out the book with me. Grab yourself uh, an, a free book offer, and they're giving you a free audiobook. So do your free 30-day trial and read it with me, all right? So that's uh, On Top of the World, Gordon Ramsay. In the meantime, let me finish getting all my stuff out. Watch the intro to the show, and as soon as the intro is over, the sun should be out. We should be ready. Let's get into some garlic. You got your breath mints ready? Because we're going to get it on. Okay, so I've separated the garlic, but there's 44 cloves. There's 26 here that are not peeled, and there's 26 in this jar that we're going to peel, and we're going to do a little experiment. Um, but I'll show you that in a minute. We got butter. We got a little bit of thyme, fresh thyme, some Parmesan cheese, some lemon wedges, onion, whipping cream, chicken broth, little extra virgin olive oil it's all here this is all easy ingredients to get at the supermarket i just went out took me five minutes to get it all together uh, a while back i showed you how to peel garlic between two metal bowls and you go waga 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 and you shake it somebody says to put in a mason jar and shake them in a mason jar and all of them should peel are you ready we're gonna try it out right now didn't work did it nope that works like crud that is not a good cooking tip all right here we go as you can see that one came out that one came out that one's out it's all good ta-da okay take your 26 garlic cloves that are unpeeled Put them in a glass baking dish. Put in about two tablespoons of olive oil. Just kind of eyeball it. One, two, there we go. Take some pepper. Put that in there. Some salt. Put that in there. Get your hand a little dirty. Get all these coated real well. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna cover this tightly with aluminum foil, and you're gonna cook this for 45 minutes at 350 degrees until the garlic is golden brown. Okay, let's pull this out of the oven. Take the foil off. Ooh, look at that. That, my friends, is what roasted garlic looks like. Now we're gonna show you what we're going to do You've got your uncooked, and you're gonna take your cooked, bring it over here, you're gonna squeeze, a little hot, you're gonna pinch the garlic clove out, see it? It's already roasted, get it out of its skin, and it falls right in there. See, it's all golden brown and beautiful, see that? Do that with each one of the cloves. So get the roasted ones out of their skins just by pinching it between your fingers, letting it slide out, and put it in the same bowl as this, because we're gonna dump all this in the soup in a minute. Okay, so there's a quick shot of my new Samsung, uh, it's a, uh, what do you call it, a conve convection oven where it blows the hot air around and evenly bakes in the oven. It's really cool. Um, I love it. It's got a middle, it's got a middle burner. Let me show you. So you can put a griddle in the middle. So I've got five burners on this thing, one giant one in the middle, four different sizes on the corners. And I'm pretty excited about it. 
Uh, didn't want to buy a new one, but I figured if we were going to get one, I was going to get one that matched my Samsung refrigerator. So now I have the uh, Samsung convectional oven and I can't wait to do some baking in it. It's going to be awesome. All right, so let's get the butter melting. These flames are really big on this new stove, so I got to get used to it. Okay, now that the butter is melted, we're going to do the onions and the thyme. If you can't do the onions, don't do the thyme. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> onions and the thyme, there we go. You're going to cook these for about, until the onions are translucent, once again. You know what translucent is? They get kind of clear looking. Not so solid white. They kind of gel out a little bit. Now it's time to put in the... Uh, the raw and the roasted garlic. And you're gonna toss that around and cook it for about three minutes just to get that raw garlic going and get that roasted incorporated. Oh my goodness. I haven't made anything yet with this, but I'm starving. This smells so good. Next step, we're gonna add in the chicken broth or chicken stock. We're gonna bring this to a simmer. Once I get it to a simmer, I'm gonna cover it and let it simmer for 20 minutes. All right, there you go. Now, here's the cool part. We're gonna take this over to the blender a little at a time, not the whole pot. Just ladle some into the blender and puree it, and then ladle some more and puree it. Take all this and blend it all the way down, just nothing but liquid, and then bring it back in this pot. Put it back in the pot. Looks beautiful. Just add the cream. Then you're gonna bring it to a simmer again. Okay, now while you're waiting for it to get to a simmer, perfect time to hit it with a little cracked black pepper. and a little sea salt or coarse salt or kosher or whatever. Okay, let's bring it over here and let's serve it up. Now this is recommended, I got this off a of food blogger site, my brother sent it to me. So I have no idea. A little bit of cheese there, a little bit of cheese there, a little bit of cheese there. Pinch, pinch, there we go. A little sprig, a little sprig. And one more. Let's give this a try. Wow, it's a rich, rich, lot of flavor. Yeah, I'm gonna cook this down a little bit more. Oh, wow, that third little sip. It's, it, if you love garlic, this is amazing. And it's not like knock you down, rip your socks off garlic. It's just, it's just really, really rich flavor. That roasted garlic makes it, mmm, great comfort food. It's dark and cloudy outside. I'm gonna take this out to the patio gonna sit with my laptop maybe even have a cup of tea and I will see you guys later take care try this all you garlic fanatics amazing recipe and don't forget have a free audiobook on me okay audible.com slash jack show I'll see you in the next episode take care okay very rarely do I finish a video and come back in and tell you something else but I wasn't happy with how watery that was so I took the entire soup and I put it back on the stove and 20, it's 20 minutes later now. I've cooked it down, got it simmering. I've cooked it for another 20 to almost 30 minutes. And I've thickened it up. Come in and close. I wanna show you what this is supposed to look like. And uh, yeah, I, I just can't stand watery soup. This is supposed to be a thicker soup. And I wanted to nail it before you guys left. So bear with me just for one second. Come look at this. See how a lot's missing on the side of the pot? Look at that. It's so much thicker and better. It just has more body to it. I would give it a good half hour of simmering this. 
it's it's got that glazed look ah oh, so much better let me put it in the bowl and show you okay now look when when you move a soup side to side see how it coats the sides see that means it's got a good thick consistency a little bit of cling that's how i like it and that is your 44 clove garlic soup